21 days after the first suborbital flight. Uh, we had five minutes in space, and he says, we're going to go to the moon, and we're going to do it this decade, and, and it's important to do, and uh, hey, what happened in aerospace? Wow, multi-year funding, <laughs> right? <laughs> we got a goal that, that isn't just something that has to be done this year. We've got, hell, we got nine years. And uh, you talk about job security. I mean, when you have that as a national goal, as a national prestige goal, you know it's not going to get shot down by the Congress every year. So aerospace guys were jumping up and down. Wow, we've got a great program. Yeah, we're going to do it. Yeah, we can do it. It's really cool. But if you grab one of those guys, and I don't care whether he's an engineer or whether he's a manager or whether he's a guy in the shop that bends metal, take him personally into a small room and say, listen, uh, uh, I won't tell anybody about your answer, but what's your net worth? How much money are you worth? And he tells you, and you say, well, let me ask you, would you bet all of your net worth that we'll be able to, the miracle will be able to send a man to the moon and get him safely back by 1970? <laughs> okay? Most people, the majority, would not bet on it. In other words, really in their gut, they didn't think it was possible to do that. The people working on it, the people managing it, really in their heart, they didn't think it was possible. Now, that doesn't mean that it's a good idea to go ahead and try anyway. In fact, that's what breeds all the neat breakthroughs. But my point is, the fact that people thought it's impossible meant that you are indeed doing research. You're not doing development, and I think that's the best way to define the difference. Productivity, which is development, can be managed by a spec and a schedule. You cannot manage creativity to a schedule. All you can do is manage it to a goal. Uh, productivity, development, involves doing analysis, doing iteration. In other words, evolving, making something a little bit better. Creativity is not that at all. Creativity is looking for this thing you didn't know that occurs to you. That's an invention, that's a breakthrough, that's a new idea, that's, that's, that's creativity. Uh, you can define the process for productivity, but you can't define a process for research. You cannot sit down and say, this is a process to reach that goal. You have to leave that wide open and let the process kind of work itself out. It's bad if you make mistakes and have failures if you're in development, but it's, it's expected to have failures in, in research. It's not clear who can create, but you can go out and get produ productive work from anyone when you're doing development. Uh, you can grade your progress. In other words, you can say every two months to management, hey, here's the progress we made if you're doing development. In research, you either reach your goal or you don't. Until you have your goal, you don't know where you are in that project line, so you cannot properly, and you cannot with any assurance and any confidence, you can't do a status uh, report. Okay, how to achieve breakthroughs? Well, for production work or development work, you have uh, extensive analysis, extensive hardware and software. Creativity really uh, you can do it with Sketchpad because what you're trying to do is to come up with an original thought. You're not going to get an original thought out of a computer because it's, it's programmed with someone else's original thought and if you know that then you don't need a breakthrough. Okay? Uh, engineers need the indirect shop interface. In other words, they can design something, send it to the shop for it to be produced. Uh, but a, a person who is creative he has to run the lab. He has to run the shop. He has to make the decisions on what the shop does. Uh, it, it's, it's extremely important for someone who you're asking to give you a breakthrough for him to have full control over the lab because he, he may be in there on weekends. He may want to, at the drop of a hat, totally change what's going on in the shop to help him go, uh, you know, aim towards that breakthrough. 
Uh, you can't schedule it. I mentioned that. Uh, you, you can't focus on the time to do it. You just need to try and try to achieve, to achieve the goal. And it's okay to have fun in the research environment. It's okay to do that on the beach somewhere. Uh, I want to talk a little bit now about the manager. What I'm talking about is those that are in management that are managing people, engineers usually, people that are supposed to be expected to be creative and are expected to have breakthroughs. His only task should be to set and approve the goal and get you the money. That's his only task. I talked about if you're going to call it research and if you're searching for breakthroughs, it's going to be very difficult for him to push the button and say, here, go spend this money because he has to do it in an environment when half of the people say it's impossible. He can reward the achievement of the goal and that's really important for him to put a prize up. In other words, the people that make the money, if they do indeed invent something new and get that breakthrough, they need to be financially rewarded for that. One of the reasons that America had a lot more breakthroughs in, during the Cold War time, and r you found that Russia was copying our systems rather than, you know, they made an F-111, they, they made a C-12, uh, uh, they, they made a uh, space shuttle. <laughs> you know, they, they, they made something that was, essentially what was happening here is, is um, they, they uh, had an environment where somebody could invent something and have an enormous breakthrough, but he had no financial incentive on it. I, I was on the, the Volga River in 1993 with a Russian, uh, the, the most experienced Russian developer of turbofan engines. And I had an interpreter. Neither one of us knew a word of each other's language. I was on a DARPA program to go and investigate the Russian wing ships, the acronoplanes, the things that fly, you know, the Caspian Sea monster, that stuff. And uh, I was having this wonderful discussion with this old, with this old, uh, uh, Russian designer and at the same time back at home I was developing an airplane to use this new turbofan engine from Williams the FJ 44 which became the most highly produced uh, jet engine in the world um, and I drew a picture of this engine and I translated things into metric its thrust its fuel flow its weight and so on and I showed it to him and through the translator I said uh, tell him uh, that if you can develop and produce and sell this engine for a hundred million rubles, which at that time was a hundred thousand dollars, you would be rich beyond your wildest dreams, okay? Because Williams was going to charge three times that much for the engine. This time the interpreter, instead of just going back and forth on this discussion, she argued with him for five minutes and finally came back to me and she said, Mr. Rutan, I'm sorry, but he doesn't know what a dream is. He didn't understand the concept that his abilities as an engineer could make him rich. He knew the concept of his abilities as a creative engineer could give him another medal to pin on, but there was no opportunities for him to be rich by inventing something new. And that, that was really a message that, that, that I, I, I think about a lot. I'd like you to read this because it's really important. What it says is that managers shouldn't manage if you're doing research. When you think a manager, well, what has he got to do when you do research to build a new ship? Well, you send people out to collect the wood and then you set up the shop and tell them what to do. Well, if you do that, all of a sudden, it's the manager who made the decision on what materials to use, not the engineer. Okay, so a non-creative guy made the materials decision. Also, it's a manager who decides how to build it, so the manager is edicting the manufacturing method. Okay, he's doing development, that's fine. If you want to build a ship just like last year's ship, uh, this is what a manager should do. But the important thing, if a manager wants something better than last year's ship, 
He cannot tell them to go out and find wood, and he can't tell them how to build it.